everyone welcome back Angela here and good to see you on this lovely Sunday morning it's nice and crisp today well I've got a couple of more things I'm going to be putting into my shop next week um, again I'm going to put it in on a Friday so the same time as I did this past Friday so it's in my website shop as well so that's Angela Kerr designs.com all right so just look below this video here um, I'll have the details of how you can get there if you haven't been there before all right so thank you to all of you that showed such great interest in the other journals you are all just amazing and I received the most wonderful messages and emails from you guys I was in tears so thank you so much we made my day with those comments right I've got three more journals large journals I want to share with you today um, some of my absolute favorites again again pulling at the heartstrings here but I'm not going to talk too much about that I'm going to share with you what I've got and I've got some other exciting things that I've never had before so look out for that right so I'm going to start off first of all with my lilacs lovelies journal this is a hardcover journal it's got beautiful voyager fabric um, that I've used on the cover here so it's a lovely linen um, you've seen the flip through of this, I'm sure. You're able to see the complete detail of this. If you go below this video where it says more, click on that. A whole lot of information falls down there if you're not sure. And I will put the full th uh, flip through links for the videos on my YouTube channel when I did the complete flip through of any one of these journals. All right, so that's that. Now, this is made up of two signatures. You can see. Um, we've got 116 pages in here, front and back. Okay, so that's one of my bigger ones. Um, it measures nine and a quarter inches this way. That's 23 centimeters, six and a half inches that way. All right, so that is 17 centimeters and it's got a nice wide spine, which is three and a half inches, which is seven cent uh, nine centimeters. All right, so it's a big journal. Um, yeah so let's go and have a look inside we've got this beautiful sari ribbon now you must remember sari does shed um so you know that is bound to have beautiful variegated colors to match the colors of this journal and i've got lace i've got little jewel embellishments here beautiful ribbons um my digitals and lots of flowers and things in here all right so let's go and look inside so I thoroughly enjoyed making this one. Again, it's one of my absolute favorites. Right, so if you have a look inside here, um, we've got our lovely purple inner covers. Um, and then, of course, we've got the gorgeous pages and lots of fabric pieces, tabs in here, lots of bits and pieces. We've got antique book pages or vintage book pages. I've used all my templates. You've got little bits everywhere. You know, I'm not going to lots of embellishments and lots of um, exciting projects that we did together in this one. And I thoroughly enjoyed making this. So I hope that you're going to enjoy another little trip down memory lane just as I breeze through this one really quickly. Lots of gorgeous layers and fabric pieces. Uh, I remember doing this pouch and I, I do love it we've got um all those goodies in there so that's another one i love that great project goes in any theme i think we'll have to add it into the the christmas and autumn journals so yeah lovely edith holden pages to match we've got lots of great projects we did together in here so yeah another great journal another one that's hard to part with so yeah i love that <laughs> yeah every time i look through the journals um it does make me smile as i remember little things or comments people made you know it's really just wonderful so yeah we did um this little one as well there's a little goodie in there lovely projects so you know lots of excitement in these things yeah all right so got journal cards and all sorts everywhere okay get in there get in there right um yeah so another one all right so this one will go um into my 
website shop, as I said. Don't look on Etsy. I'm not putting them in my Etsy store. Um, this is a gorgeous a project. Gina um, inspired me to do that. Um, you know, if you're interested, you can go and have a look over there. So that's the end of the first signature. And this is the second one. I'm going to be going pretty quickly here um, just because I've got lots to share with you today. Um, and I just wanted to give you a quick little reminder, these little booklets that we made, you know, some lovely projects in here. Thoroughly enjoyed making this journal. All right, so you can have a look at the detail of this. Um, as I said, if you go and click onto the flip through, if you want to see it in more detail, where I talk about it for a solid 25 minutes, I think. <laughs> and show you every little detail possible all right so that's the first one okay i'm going to just put that over there this lovely altered book that we did the sunflower one um it's got a, a a big alligator mouth this was an altered edith holden book the cover that i used here and it's got a lovely um cover beautiful layering this gorgeous ribbon so this is the Simply Sunflower journal using my Simply Sunflower kits. It's got some wallpaper um, that I've put on here. Love this. All right, uh, this has one signature. Oh, I forgot to tell you it's measurements. So the measurements are uh, nine and a half inches that way. So seven, inch, uh, seven by seven by one and a quarter on the spine all right so that's 24 centimeters 17 and a half and about three over there all right so we open that up it's got a loose closure and um i love how this one came together so you've got all our my different digitals here another gorgeous kit um which i thoroughly enjoyed putting together and the whole journal collection here um, I mean, you've got so many, it's like going through a maze <laughs> with all the goodies in here. Little bag I made with you. Do you remember that? Lovely um, fabric and paper pockets. Uh, gorgeous old book pages. Um, just so much excitement in this one. Love the stenciling. Lots of tabs again. We've got little bags we made together um just lovely little goodies little flip tags there with you know postcards in lots of stenciling all oh, every page just about has something on it it's got you know another one of my little gateway projects i'm not going to open all these things up we'll be here forever um but again you can see the full flip through of this one on my youtube channel the link again is below so yeah i really loved making this one as well so yeah this has got um 68 pages front and back okay one signature so really gorgeous so if you were wanting uh, the sunflower journal or to see a full detail of that go and have a look at the description box and it'll be available on my website next friday uh, the same time as the others were all right so again this opens up beautiful and over here as well oh they got a journal card there we've got a tag over there there's so much to see here lots of die cuts beautiful pages you know everything has some kind of decoration or ephemera piece added to it we made this gorgeous one as well this one opens up like that and we've got lots inside there as well look at that lovely trifold All right so yeah I think this turned out wonderfully and definitely want to make another altered book in the future all right so we've got this as well gosh there was so much here i just didn't know when to stop did i right so that's the simply sunflower one it's my last year's christmas journal look at that Do you remember that one with all its beautiful snowflakes and layers and lovely i love this one this one is very special to me as well it's my first christmas kit i 
put absolutely everything into this journal it's one of my best journals in my opinion i mean i love them all but um you know i've got some special memories for some of them all right so gorgeous beautiful dusky pink ribbon on here again uh, this has got two signatures it's made up of 80 pages fronts and backs um it measures eight and three quarters in length all right by six and a quarter in width and it's got a two and a quarter inch spine with this beautiful crocheted vintage doily and a lovely fabric um, cotton cover as well so it's a flexible cover and it's got the 80 pages as i say all right in centimeters that's 15 and a half but uh, sorry 15 and a half by 22 and a half and that's a five and a quarter inch uh, centimeter spine all right so that's what we have here so if we look inside oh gosh and um, i just love this kit still let's just move that a bit down um i love this image beautiful tabs old vintage buttons i've got loads of charms in here jewels just everything that i could possibly come up with i've put in here so we've got beautiful die cuts and embellishments wherever you look every page pretty much has either a gorgeous image or some kind of decoration and i've also put the days of christmas in here lots of stenciling um beautiful um pockets and things in here i think this one opens yeah like this so it's got a little band and you know you've got all sorts of little and the robins are in the garden at the moment eating seed and we've got all sorts going on. There's some more robins. Isn't that lovely? We've got Edith Holden pages. My um, Happy Holidays digitals went into here. So, you know, I've got wraparounds and lovely little squirrels. All sorts of little goodies in here. Love the snowflakes. Love the little fabric bits. Um, little jewels. Got little jewels on here as well. So you'll, you'll find dangles and all sorts in here. I mean, just amazing. There we go. So yeah, another oldie but goodie. Some of these are removable, so you can um, take them out, move them uh, wherever you want, you know. So uh, you don't have to keep everything in here, you know. There's that, of course. Uh, you can put it wherever, however you want to arrange it. So lots of gorgeous bits in here. Lovely projects. Um, another Edith Holden. Lots of beautiful poems. Tabs. Oh, look at all those dangles. Beautiful snowflakes and holly and everything in here. Absolutely everything. So there's lots to see in this one. All right, this was a freebie from last year. Um, I have got the, the Christmas freebies in the shop, if my website shop for a pound. If you are interested, I put last year's and this year's together. I think it's about 12 pages. So go and have a look. We did this as well. Um, a lot of that's from the freebie. So yeah, lots of page decorative bits, you know um everywhere you look so lots to see in there love that what's the center spread I've got these tiny little jingle bells in the middle We've got all sorts of charms going on there's just a lot going on in here so there really is a little flip up forgot about that um yeah another lovely one all right so never lose your sparkle <laughs> and we made this one ah oh, this is a favorite um exciting envelope i think and these beautiful so this is a, a really chock-a-block journal all right and it has a flexible cover as i say so i'm not going to tie it up i'm just going to put it over there to the side okay, so we're back with part two um there are three parts to this video this is part two these are my mini journals that i did with you um for the various mini journal projects during the year um there we have cr the christmas one so the latest christmas um memories one which was lovely i've got the lilac lovelies one 
There's this little one, which is the one with the bunnies. So spring is sprung. We did that. Um, I've got the wildflower one. Um, the autumn uh, whispers one. You'll remember the little mini sunflower one. And of course, last but not least, the birds and bees. So I, um, I'm not going to open all of these now. I'm going to just choose one or two that you might not have seen for a while. And go and have a look at the flip through if you want to see. These are the links for them will be below. So I've done the Christmas and the autumn one pretty recently. I think what I'm going to do is I will take the sunflower one and the birds and bees possibly or yeah and let's put those over there now i know um people are going to ask me this because i've had all sorts of questions um i haven't finished binding the birds and bees journal yet so that will go into my shop probably after christmas so if you are wanting to um look for some more journals i've got um, some baking journals. I'm making a few. I'm almost finished a couple of them based on the one that I made before. So I will have that. I will have my birds and bees journal and then possibly um, the autumn one as well. So I will have another video. This is the last one I'm going to do for this year um, on journals and things, but I will have um, journals coming in again after Christmas so if you get any Christmas monies from the family or anything like that there will be some more offers after Christmas all right so I'm just going to share with you quickly let's have a look quickly at this little one this was the this, the mini sunflower journal now these are little um these are just six and a half by four and a half inches they've got very narrow spines of a half an inch all right they're all the same so let's just go and look at um, this little one, which we haven't looked at for a long time. And you guys were making these along with me. So these make beautiful gifts at Christmas. All right. So this is a great one that you can put together in far less time than it takes you to make a big journal. If you're wanting to treat somebody for Christmas, it's a lovely size to fit into your purse. And that's why I do them. All right. So we've got this over here with our little um, folio bit over there. All right, um, they've all got the same layout, so it's easy to, to know how to make them. So, you know, the more you make these, the better you get. Karen will tell you that, isn't that so, Karen? So, um, we've got this little pocket. We've got the little bits here, lots of embellishment in here. We've got our big tags uh, in one of our little envelopes. We've got our little flip outs there and little pocket, lots of decoration in here. We've got the middle bit where you've got lots of area to write in. So this one has some parchment paper, um, lots of tabs and parchment paper and different um, bits in here. So that's our little tabs. Then our little um, paper clip over there altered and move this down. Um, so lots in there. So you've got a whole section there for writing in. And then you've got your little envelope, your little page, and then the other side of that one there. And we did this all together. Um, well, I did it and shared it with you on a flip through. And the, another little envelope with a, a little tag in there. And then the other side there. All right, so that's that's the little sunflower one. So if you're looking for a, a special little gift for yourself, I will put these in the shop um, as well. So, yeah. And obviously, um, all the postage for these journals, big and small, um, are inclusive in the price. All right, so you don't have to worry. It's the only way I can do it, unfortunately, because... Um, of the way the shipping is set up all right so i've added it into the price of each item work it out individually so yeah this will go tracked and signed all of them will all right so there we go that's that um the other one i will have a look at quickly is the birds and bees so let's open that one up quickly if i can <laughs> i love these little ones they are adorable Okay, so we've got our little bicycle there. Um, I love that image. And then again, the same business over here. Beautiful colours in this journal. 
um, really love that. A little clip up. And we've got the center bit. This one's got a lot of lace on it. And lots to write on in here. You've got your middle bit. I put this in the middle for this one. Um, and you've got another little bit over here with your envelope. And then the back part of uh, the envelope. And then some beautiful bits and gorgeous tags in these ones. So really love how that one came together. All right, so I am going a bit quick, but it's something you've seen before. All right, so there we have the mini journals. So I'm going to just move those out the way quickly and I'm gonna be back for a very exciting bit. Well, this is my latest uh, addition to the shop. I had these specially made by a lovely lady who is an absolute perfectionist. And so I couldn't resist getting a couple of these made to put into the shop. Now, these are like types of tote bags, or I'm calling it um, hobby bags. I mean, you can use them for absolutely anything. But I have um, had my um, embroidered my my branding on there. So you've got Angela Kerr designs like that. It's got pockets in the front, pockets over there. It is 12, just over 12 inches in width and 14 inches in length. It's got lovely handles so that will go over your shoulder comfortably. And it is fully lined. And this is the same fabric we cover our um, journals in, our journal covers that I was selling. Um, beautifully lined with cotton in there. And you've got a lovely pocket inside there so if you have a look inside you can easily fit your crafting goodies if you're going away look at that plenty space um it's got a lovely uh, four and a half inch uh, gusset on the side i think it's four and a half inches oh it's five five inches you got your pockets on the side there as well so yeah and i've got it in birds and bees and isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love them. And then I also got it in the lovely wildflowers. So the same for the wildflowers, lovely long handles. You've got this beautiful peach with the lovely fabric we put on the cover. It fits a journal perfectly. So if you were going away and you wanted to put your journal in there alongside with some of your journaling um, equipment, you know, you, it will all fit in here. It's got beautiful pockets on both sides like that and really durable, good quality cotton drill fabric. So absolutely love these. All right. And again, ample. You could go and use this as a shopping bag if you wanted to as well. Or, you know, it folds up nicely. Um, but I, I would use this as a, a beautiful crafting bag. So, yeah that's my latest now I've only got three of each so and, and that's it so yeah beautifully stitched beautifully finished you can't go wrong with these that's my latest one that's going to go in the shop on Friday as well so if you're after one of these it'd make a beautiful gift for somebody very special or there's nothing like a good gift for yourself I think those are the best gifts all right so yeah I thought you weren't expecting that one were you all right, so yeah, that's my lot for today. My table is full here of journals, big, small, and now gorgeous um, crafting bags <laughs> too. All right, so um, that's my little lot for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that you've had some good memory shares with me as we page through some of these little reminders. Um, very special treasures. All right, everyone, go and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Um, and thank you for spending this time with me again. Always love to spend time with you. Um, you're an amazing bunch, and I feel so blessed to have you guys. I'll see you all on Tuesday with another little Project Fry Journals. Have fun, and thank you, guys. Bye.